Hey guys, welcome back to my channel again this week for yet another video. This is a different kind of sketch with me, um, and I'll explain, well I guess you can see that it's digital art, but I'll explain more on the subject um, in just a minute. Uh, for those of you who are new here, my name is Karina, and I post art videos here each week. Um, my regular upload schedule is usually on Fridays. Uh, going forward, I'm going to attempt to upload on Sundays to see if that would um, help me gain more traffic to my channel um, so for the time being I don't it may go back to Friday if this doesn't work out or I may choose um, a different day but I'm trying to you know see what um, my viewers uh, or when my viewers most like to watch my videos so I'm posting on Sundays for the time being and we'll see how that goes um, so again this is um, the sketch with me video I usually do them um, like traditionally with pencil, paper, whatever. Um, but uh, I've, I've had this uh, Huion graphics tablet for two plus years now, and I don't really use it as much as I'd like to. And um, like I sold all my good, really like golden acrylic paints to buy this thing, and it's just sitting on the table. So I'm like, you know what? Let's um, let's use it and uh, let's try to sketch at least you know a couple times a week on it, so I can get used to using the pencil or the you know the, the little graphics pen thing that comes with the um, with the tablet, and um, get familiar with uh, Clip Studio Paint because that's what I'm using here and uh, I thought that uh, it would make good use um, I can make good use for sketch with me videos now um, as you can see I'm quite a newbie and I don't know what I'm doing um, but hopefully um, going through um, sketching like this um, it'll help me gain more experience and I I've done a couple of other sketches a while back with digital sketching and um, I my line work is not the greatest so that's something i have to work on as well but i think i did a not too bad of a job here um i did uh, i was a little bit um disappointed the first picture that i had i had drawn i did ink it and um I, whatever happened the inking layer kind of vanished um so i just left it as it was but um this video was pre-recorded um i did do it back i think it was in april and um i have a couple other um sketch with me videos that i'm gonna be doing digitally as well um but this like i said this is the first one that i've done and uh, so, like I said, I've, I've had my graphics tablet for a couple of years now, and I um, that was after I did all my coloring books. All my coloring books were inked by hand and um, uploaded or scanned to the computer and all that hard stuff. And I did do some digital editing with like my old bamboo tablet that my boyfriend got me like years and years and years and years and years ago. Um, but... Uh, I, I, after doing those coloring books, I'm like, you know what, if I want to continue doing this kind of stuff, I need something that's going to be a little bit easier. Um, and since then, since two years ago, I haven't made another coloring book because the company that I was um, working with, I don't, it, it didn't go very well. And I kind of got discouraged and I haven't had very many sales from a coloring book on my, on my Etsy store um, or um, like physical copies in a long time. Um, but there is another coloring book that I want to make. And um, it's going to be dedicated to uh, my grandmother who had passed a few years ago and uh, I just I I want to be able to do a really good job and I feel like to do that I need to learn how to use my digital or my graphics tablet a little bit better because I want to do a better job with the line work and I want to um, I want to do better with the pictures in general so that's another reason why I'm trying to learn how to do some better anatomy and um, I you know, I've been trying to do this other coloring book for a couple of years now, and I just don't feel like my skills are good enough to make it as good as I want, um, you know, that I want to make it. So that that's pretty much why I've been doing a lot of, um, you know, feet drawings and drawing hands and different poses and, and stuff like that, because I'm really trying my best to, um, you know, improve my skills so I'm able to do a really good job on this next book that I want to do. And another thing that I was thinking of doing as well, um, a couple other YouTubers that I watch, they, they're making, I guess, little zines, I guess that's what they're called, of, like all their sketches and, and stuff like that, and they're selling them at, um, you know, expos and everything that they're going to. And I thought that maybe it might be something that I might do as well um, when I get situated um, with moving and, and all that kind of stuff, is to maybe, um, you know, put all of my work into like a little book and I can either sell them digitally or I can print them and, and sell them through my Etsy store.
store. So that's something that I'm thinking of doing. And um, I've always wanted to illustrate a kid's book as well. So, <clears throat> excuse me, if I can... Um, if I can get this all to work out the way that I want and I feel like I'm comfortable with my line work and clearly I do have a lot of improvement to make yet, I think that's something that I would like to do. And um, I've always been like, you know, interested in illustrating a kid's book or something like that. So maybe that's something that I'll work into in the future. But, you know, that's like in the next five years or something. But um, I really enjoy using Clip Studio Paint. Um, this is not, you know, I'm not paid to say this or anything. But I, I have tried to use Photoshop and I'm sure Photoshop works great for for people who know how to use Photoshop, but I can use it for, use it for basic video editing, you know, creating thumbnails and stuff like that. But I don't feel that Photoshop is good for me when it comes to learning how to draw and uh, and you know what I'm trying to do here. M maybe it is, maybe I'm just you know lacking the knowledge of using Photoshop. But I really do like Clip Studio Paint. Um, I like that it's very simple to use. Uh, I do get frustrated every now and then because my computers are both Acer's and um, you know while they're you know decent computers they, they don't run the programs very well and uh, with clip studio paint there's a, there's a slight lag sometimes but um, using Photoshop it, there's a really big lag so even recording a video like I'm doing here it wouldn't have worked so I, I really like how um, simplified I don't know if that's the right word to use um, it, the clip studio paint program is and it, it's it's really user-friendly and it's nice and simple and very easy to use and I really like it some of the other programs that I've tried for um, sketching, I've tried Art Rage, I've tried, I think it's called Sketchbook, something to that effect, something or another. Um, those are pretty decent programs as well. Um, they they weren't too bad, but overall, out of all the programs that I have tried, I really do like Clip Studio Paint, and I did buy it with my own money, um, and I did get it while it was on sale, so I think I paid like $35 Canadian for it, which is really not that bad, you know, I've got a, I've got a good program to use. So anyway, um, I just got distracted by my cat who likes to make a lot of noise when I'm trying to record a video. And I completely forgot where I ended off with this voiceover. But I believe I was talking about other programs that I've used. And um, like I said, I did buy Clip Studio Paint um, with my own money. And I do recommend it. I highly recommend it. There is another program that you can get to work with some of these programs. Um, I forget the name of it, but it kind of makes your lines go smoother. Um, if anyone wants to pipe in down in the description or the comment section, um, I'm sure la lazy something, I believe that's what it's called. But um, I did try it out, but unfortunately I can't really afford to pay $60 for it. Um, maybe at a later time, maybe, but we'll see what happens anyway. Um, Outside of the digital work, um, I've been practicing more with um, drawing with or coloring with Copics, We're doing some Copic work, and um, I have some new videos coming out of some fan art or movie movie fan art that I've done that I'm really excited about, and I think I did a really good job on them, so I hope you guys are going to like them as well. And um, I do, for next week, um, I do have a review on a diamond art piece that I did, and um, it's, it's somewhat similar to the owl that Art Alacart did a few few weeks ago and um, I actually did have mine ordered before I saw her video but mine is um, quite a bit bigger and I do have um, I have a part of the video recorded but I think I'm gonna go back in and add my final thoughts because I have finished the piece and I thought it was gonna take me a lot longer than it did but I did record the initial opening like three weeks ago and I finished the um, the diamond project um, this week actually so um, I can go back in and give my final thoughts on it now and complete the video so that's kind of and I've already started another one so needless to say I really do enjoy doing them and I would recommend them so that's kind of a kind of a spoiler for the next video but that's uh, that's what you can look for um, one thing going back to the drawing here one thing that I really like about using the digital um, the tablet to draw with um, for those of you who don't know I have the um, I did mention that I have a Huey on tablet and it's actually the one where you can turn the screen on and draw on the screen and see what you're drawing it's not um, like the the paper one or the um, like an Intuos I think that's how you pronounce it like it's not like a black screen it's the actual digital tablet that you can draw on and see what you're doing and I find that it's a lot easier to draw on that than it was on the bamboo tablet that I had a while back so I find that a lot easier but what I was trying to get at is that I find that uh, doing this digitally is a lot nicer because it's so much easier easier to fix your mistakes 
it is it's it's way it's so much easier if i have an eye that's too far to the left i can select it and move it wherever i want it and i don't have to redo everything and that's so nice and that's another reason why i really would like to get into digital art and that's not saying that i wouldn't do traditional art anymore because i'll always do traditional art but i could draw my initial pieces on here print them out with like a grayscale lining and then i could still color them with my copics and i don't have to worry about you know ruining the paper or because well i don't like drawing things more than once because i find that after you draw it once you kind of start losing the line work and then it doesn't look the way that you wanted it to look at the first place and it kind of it loses something so i kind of like the idea of just drawing it once clearly i'm not happy um with the pieces that i'm drawing i think it's because the line work went away that i did so um <clears throat> but anyway I really, I'm running out of things to say for this video, but I really wanted to share with you guys that I'm trying to do something different. And this is the first time I think, or I maybe mean, this is the second time that I put digital artwork on my channel because I'm really, like I said, I'm really not that familiar with it, not that great. But if I don't use it, then I can't learn it, right? But um, that's pretty much all I'm going to say for the video. And it, it's getting close to the end here now. So I'm just going to, you know, just do the regular outros of, you know, like the video if you enjoyed it. And uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. And before I go, I do want to um, say um, a really big thank you to everyone that commented on last week's video. Telling me, you know, giving me compliments and, you know, good advice and constructive criticism about, um, you know, my channel and what and, and what's wrong with my channel in a sense or what's not wrong with my channel um some of you guys are um or most of you guys are really um really good with the comments and and i appreciate the time that you guys took to comment on that video and give me suggestions and everything so um i i will take everything everything that was said um and and put it all to good use and and i'm glad that you guys are enjoying the content that i'm making and you know i did get a really good response from posting on sunday last week because I got like 40 views in the matter of like 12 hours I know that may not sound like a lot to some people but you know when you have a small channel that's it's really great to see that so I just wanted to say thank you guys for um for showing me some love last week I really appreciate it but I'm gonna let you guys go if you have any questions or comments leave them down below in the comment section and uh, I will see you guys in the next video all right bye for now